The 60s were Ghana's glory years in football. The organization of the Black Stars, trophy wins, that 13-0 win against Kenya in Nairobi, and many more. Known wildly as the Brazilians of African football, Ghana was the ideal African football country. All of it orchestrated by a group whose names have been etched into the very fabric of football in this country. Wobaforce in Fum, Agrifin, Reverend Ose Kofi and Kofi Pare are names that ring bells. But there is one man among that crop whose name is criminally missing, his legacy buried in the sands of time. In 1965, he was flown alone by the then president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, to Tunis to play in the Africa Cup of Nations after he missed the flight due to personal reasons. The man, Amusak Badamusi. He was a genius. I saw him. People who don't see, who have not seen Amusa will never agree what, on what I'm saying. Yeah. We produced great players like Abedi, Gago, Hamza Mohammed, and others, yeah. Sheila, and a lot of us. Yeah. Eh? But Hamusa was unique. If you see Amusa playing, you will like it. You will admire him. He was an all-round player. Amusa was a good shooter. He was a good dribbler and a, a playmaker. Amusa was, is the greatest player the North has ever produced. The Black Star went to Brazil. Yeah. How was Amusa received in Brazil? Amusa in his hotel finds it difficult to come out because the mob was always waiting for Amusa. Yeah. Amusa, you see him, was the real Pele. If you talk of Ghana Pele, it's Amusa. I played alongside Abedi. Abedi is uh, his time. He was lucky. He was exposed to the world. There were TVs. There were cameras all over the place. People were seeing him live. So the people liked Abedi. He has the charisma. But he cannot compare himself to Amusa Guadamasi, I saw. In 1969, when Santos of Brazil took on Accra Hats of Oak at the Accra Sports Stadium, Amusa Badamoshi was the star man for Hearts of Oak. He scored in that game that ended 2-2. And after the game, he had a discussion with Pele. A discussion that went really, really well. Pele loved the man. These days, he is back where it all started in Bimbila, in his humble beginnings, and in this house, here in the northern region. There are moments in every player's career that is noted as the most important. And for Badamosi, it was that game against Brazilian powerhouse Santos in Accra. The photo of him handing over a smock to the legendary Pele has become one of the most iconic yet unknown Ghanaian football photos. Amusa has great memories from that day. Well, one even, for instance, meeting Pele of Brazil was one of those. Uh, because I had that name Pele too before they came to Ghana to play. It was quite interesting. But unfortunately to me, their goalkeeper wasn't all that good. Okay. Because the sort of goal I scored him, he shouldn't have allowed me to score that sort of a goal. Right. Pele was Pele. And I want to say, but I Ghana's Pele was also... <laughs> Ghana's Pele. See, it was great. Right. At Hearts of Oak, Amusa was the outright star. He started his career in Tamale, but it was at several football meets that officials from Hearts of Oak saw him and expressed interest. An official from the club visited his home in Bimbila to convince his parents to choose the Capital Club. Before then, he had played one game for Nkrumah's team, the Real Republicans. Black Stars were to play Real Madrid. It was 62. So he brought me and George Alassa yeah. to watch that match mm -hmm. in Accra. Then after that, they brought me to Republicans. I didn't like Accra. Okay. I that because uh, <laughs> I was enjoying everything in Tabal. Right. So I played for them against Azakes in a league match. And I was staying at the director's house in Osu. I was not, because I was not used to Accra. The Hearts of Okotoko rivalry did not just start. 
there is an age-old bad blood between the two clubs. Badamosi moved to Kumasiya Santikotoko in 1971 and got a fair share of antagonism from the Hearts faithful. I went to Kotoko. How, how, did, the, how did the Hearts of fans take it at the time? I didn't even tell them I was going anywhere. So before they heard about what, you know, I was in Kumasi. Was after Olympics when they came to play Olympics in Accra, mm -hmm. because I left us, I didn't follow them. I didn't. <laughs> I know our supporters very well. <laughs> so I was in Kumasi when they came and played the Olympics. Yeah. Amusa was a people's person. He believed in where he hailed from, his heritage. The skills he performed on the pitch were exceptional. He was a gifted player. He was one of those players many looked forward to seeing on March days. His time with the national team, though, barely bore fruits of his quality. In 1968, at the Summer Olympic Games in Mexico City, a tournament he believes Ghana should have performed way better in, he was one of the most important players in the team. There was him, Jones Atukwefio, Sami Sampene, Malik Jaber, Ibrahim Sande, Johnny Shen, and the mystical Robert Mensah. That team was eliminated in the group stages after facing Israel, El Salvador, and Hungary. But Badamosi believes they could have done better. Some players were so jealous about me that they got angry. From, from what you're saying, it was just a... Uh... Uh, some infighting in the team that led to that. <laughs> oh yes. If some of those players who are still alive will talk the truth. Amusa lives in Bimbila now, 147 kilometers from the northern region's capital, Tamale. This is where his rise to stardom in the 60s and 70s started, but not in comfortable conditions. He admits that this is a far cry from where he was three decades ago. Now living a very simple life, losing his eyesight by the day, Amusa wants a proper structure at the Professional Footballers Association of Ghana for retired footballers. But Amosi will be 79 in April. He lived his football life to the fullest, but in the face of all the challenges now, he still has the wherewithal to crack a smile. If anyone ask of football legends from here, the list is long enough. But always remember the man from Bimbila, Amusak Baramosi. For TV3 News, Yao Fusulabi in Bimbila.